Hello everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. Let me just adjust that camera. We'll kick off in just a second. I'm uh, just going to let a few more people join the chat today or the, the uh, audience uh, and then we'll jump straight into it. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Um, everyone who can hear me, please drop a message into the chat just to let me know that the sound uh, is coming through nice and clearly for you. Um, Awesome. I can see that there. Jennifer, nice to see you here. Appreciate you joining today. Um, we'll just wait for a few more people, a few more folks to join the uh, webinar and we'll kick off in a second. So I'll just give you a little brief overview of uh, sort of what we're uh, doing today in today's webinar. Uh, this is all about uh, how many or how much deductions you're actually missing at tax time and we'll dive into a few of the tools, um, Landlord Studio spreadsheets and all that sort of stuff about how you can better use uh, tools to help you maximize deductions. So let's kick off today's webinar. Um, so hello, welcome. My name's uh, Logan Ransley, uh, co-founder of Landlord Studio. And again, today we're gonna look at some of those actionable steps that you can take to, uh, to make tax season a lot easier. Um, in particular, we're going to look closely at the spreadsheet uh, and also looking into the data to find how much they actually could be costing you in terms of time wasted or missed deductions or simply just uh, errors that, are, that, that can occur inside the spreadsheets. And then we're going to look into the alternative systems uh, and tools um, that you can use to help you manage properties. Uh, and increase your rental profits through better tax deduction, um, just tracking, et cetera, et cetera. So this, will, uh, this is a tool that will help you not only track throughout the year um, and, and not only help you with tax season, but also help you automate a lot of the systems in your rental property business. So just a disclaimer before we sort of kick off into this webinar, this is the information and strategies sort of outlined in this webinar can be quite complex and particularly around tax and accounting. Uh, and we typically recommend that you would engage with a professional if it comes to anything tax related, accounting related uh, and uh, legal related. So this webinar is generally used for educational purposes and we will actually provide some links to some qualified CPA professionals uh, if you choose that you want to engage those um, uh, more directly. So let's jump in. Let's start by taking a look at the spreadsheet. So it's an interesting one. So you've likely seen something like this before, either your own one uh, or your friends. Uh, and as you can see, we've already done a lot more uh, than a lot of landlords at this point uh, in this particular spreadsheet. We've filled out our data, uh, which is good. And on the surface, it looks quite good. You know, uh, we've, we're tracking everything that we need for tax season. But the issue is that you don't really know if the data is correct, uh, if it is good, um, or if it actually matches with your bank statements, bank records, etc. Because everything in the spreadsheet has been manually inputted, uh, which actually gets a lot worse as you scale your portfolio having more properties, you typically end up with a spreadsheet for every single property. Doesn't scale well, makes tracking hard, and essentially your accountant or CPA is gonna uh, start to pester you for the data that they actually need to do the tax return. So would you rather you know, your accountant spending all that time trying to manually figure out where all these transactions are coming from, uh, or would you rather have an alternative system that really just helps do a lot of the hard and heavy lifting already. So the problems don't just stop with errors and manual reconciliation. So again, as I was saying, spreadsheets just don't scale. Filling in the data on one spreadsheet is hard enough, but if you have five, 10, 20 properties, unless you are a spreadsheet genius, uh, this is just not gonna scale and it makes it tracking really hard when it comes to things like rent arrears, tracking tenants, tracking all the different aspects of cash flow and all the different outgoings as well. So there's all the property documentation that 
a spreadsheet's just not going to track, you know, those tenants, etc. cetera. Um, and one of the most important ones is receipts because receipts and invoices need to be kept on file. And so this method just stacks up and it stacks up very fast, uh, making it very, uh, very difficult to scale. Now it's all very well in saying us uh, and showing you a sheet of numbers, but what is the actual real cost to just using a spreadsheet rather than uh, an automated system? How much are the missed deductibles actually costing you? And the cost is twofold. It's time and it's money. So according to a study we conducted at the beginning of last year, 2023, 30% of the respondents said that they saved more than a week of administration time over the last year by making the switch from spreadsheets to a purpose-built software. And according to the study, 34% of landlords said they actually saved over $500 uh, more each year per property in tax deductions that they simply just would have missed if they weren't using software and keeping track of all their uh, income and expenses. And 40% said they actually saved more than $250 per property. So the savings go straight to the bottom line, which makes a significant impact on the profitability of your rental portfolio. And there's also a direct correlation between the number of properties investors have and the amount of both time and money they saved by simply just making the switch from a spreadsheet. However, all, most all of them said they wish that they had made the change sooner, the irony, or in hindsight. So how can you make tax season easier and your tax bill lighter with the right tools? And what is the alternative to all of this? Thankfully, there are plenty of tools and software that you can leverage to streamline your property management and increase your profits at tax time. And we're gonna show you just one, and that's Landlord Studio. The first problem with spreadsheets that we mentioned before was assuming that you have everything set up correctly, uh, the inaccuracy of financial data and the time it takes to record and check this data uh, is one of the biggest issues. So with Landlord Studio, there are several tools that you can use uh, inside the software to really mitigate this risk. So let's jump in. One of the very first features in Landlord Studio uh, is bank feeds. It's one of the most important ones. It's one of our uh, most um, uh, favored uh, features of all of our landlords. So I'm gonna take a look into a demo account, um, but it's worth noting that setting up your account uh, and uh, your properties is actually free to get started. It only takes a couple of minutes and there's a lot of comprehensive videos and um, help docs to get you started. And so when we jump into this, this has already been set up with a property already. So let's jump in now. So once you have logged in and navigated to the bank feeds uh, via the left-hand menu, uh, basically you can connect your account securely through a read-only access uh, to your financial data. And this, we use Played. It's a very, um, uh, trustworthy uh, third-party tool that we use that allows you to connect right into your bank account and import up to two years worth of financial data at the moment. And then once you've connected your account, you can easily reconcile and create new expenses with just a few clicks. So you can actually select transactions that you want to reconcile, add the details, the categories are all pre-populated from uh, the um, Schedule E. Uh, which is your tax form. And you can also select which property it's associated with and then simply hit reconcile. So splitting transactions now allows you then to essentially take payments and expenses and then split them um, so that you have one essentially transaction, but it's split out into income and expenses. And this this helps you to essentially track what fees are being charged on what income, etc. So if you use a property management company and they charge fees, you can easily assign these transactions uh, to your property uh, and account for the expense uh, at the same time. 
So if the expense already exists, this is another great way to simply match transactions to uh, expenses that already exist. So perhaps you were in a, a convenience store or a, a department store and you purchased uh, a product and you use the receipt scanner on the spot just to capture the receipt and the expense. Our auto match feature here, and what it's showing you here is actually uh, finding that expense and then matching it to your bank account. And so it allows you to add more detail, but it also gives you a source of truth to the bank transaction itself. Um, and that basically allows you to keep a really solid record of where transactions are going. So. There's one more feature I want to show you just before we move on, and that is creating bank rules. So here I'm creating a new bank rule. And what this allows me to do is to essentially uh, create expenses that are typically routine in the business, such as phone bills, mortgage expenses, rent, uh, if you're not using rent collection, utilities, uh, any sort of ongoing expenses uh, or payments that uh, you know are happening frequently and typically have the same uh, amount. So what we can do here is we can go into the rule, uh, create that rule by uh, setting up a, a way to identify that transaction. And in this case, we've got uh, depreciation uh, and it contains a certain value, and then we can add um, a category and percentage to this. And we can also split this as well. So it makes it really easy just to save a lot of time. Now, once we can go back to uh, the bank feed, getting the most out of sort of smart reconciliation really allows us to auto match the transactions, either based on transactions being found in Landlord Studio, or based on the rules that we've set up here as well. So what we're doing now is this uh, is basically highlighting the transactions and all I need to do is go through and click OK. Maybe check the details, make sure it's all correct. But essentially every time I click OK, that's creating a new transaction in, in Landlord Studio. Saves a lot of time with the manual method of uh, setting up transactions. All I need to do is just go through, hit OK, hit OK. Uh, and easy as that. So now we're going to jump into the mobile app version. So uh, the smart receipt feature is a really great way to keep receipts on file. So IRS recommends that you keep supporting documents such as receipts, financial records, invoices, etc., for up to seven years, which is a long time. And to keep a paper version of that in uh, shoe boxes uh, or you know, a file or a folder can be very difficult to uh, essentially find that record when you need to surface it in the case of a unfortunate IRS audit, for instance, or if you just need to query what that invoice said, it's very hard to find that in a folder in a shoebox, particularly if you've got multiple properties. So save yourself the trouble and the stress. Uh, essentially, our phone receipt scanner allows you to just take a snapshot of the receipt automatically imports the data into Landlord Studio, pre-fills all the category and values, and then all you need to do is hit save. Uploads the receipt, creates a transaction, and you're good to go. So this is how it works. Here's a very short GIF of me opening the phone up, taking the photo. Uh, I can either upload the photo uh, or simply use the receipt scanner, um, and then Easy as that, all done. So it makes, makes keeping a lot of those receipts on file just a lot easier. So next I wanna talk about uh, a major expense that a lot of landlords miss completely, uh, and that's mileage. So traveling to and from your properties is in most cases deemed a business expense by the IRS. Uh, this means you could be racking up hundreds of miles in deductions. Uh, however, if you're not tracking these miles with a detailed log, you basically can't you can't claim them. So, in fact, we we actually uh, did a study last year with our users, and we found forty two percent of landlords drive more than five hundred miles each year for their properties, but only seventeen percent of them actually claim the miles in the tax deduction. And 
In 2023 tax year, the rate of deduction per mile was 65.5 cents. So that's over $300 in missed deductions per year, which is a lot. Uh, it's just simply money that's not claimed. And the argument for missing this deduction is that it's too fiddly to track. And this is certainly true if you have outdated systems or if you're using a spreadsheet, it is very hard to track. However, if you're using a tool uh, like Landlord Studio, it's really easy. So what you can do is simply open up the mileage app when you get in your car uh, and you can enter in uh, the to and from and it will automatically calculate uh, that track, that whole distance and route and put it on file. You can also use the GPS mileage as well. So you can simply just drive and it will record your entire route and then calculate the distance from A to B uh, and then log that in Landlord Studio. And the best part about it is that when you go to then run reports, we automatically calculate the deductions on the Schedule E. So you can actually see exactly how much you're uh, deducting from your mileage log that you've done in Landlord Studio. So the final issue with spreadsheets that I just want to address is that spotting errors uh, and then actually using your data, data to file a tax return is quite difficult. So with a spreadsheet, if you've set it up right, you sort of have a P&L profit loss statement, which is, I, I mean, it works, but it's not ideal. Uh, with purpose built software like Landlord Studio, you get a whole array of sort of vital reports that are going to be very useful in tax season uh, during, um, uh, you know, figuring out if tenants are paying, figuring out rent arrears, figuring out all that sort of stuff. So really helps you stay on top of your finances, um, which just gives you a lot better insight into uh, your entire rental property business. So we offer over 15 accountant approved reports, including the P&L profit loss, but things like rent roll, rent ledger, running balance report, uh, schedule E report, the mileage log supplier for 1099, all of those reports that you need to do, that you need to use and run throughout the year, we will provide them in the software. So you can simply go into reports and then um, run these statements using the filters, the property. So in this case, in this video here, I'm going to jump into the income and expense statement. In the left hand corner, I've got all the properties, so I can choose my property. I can then choose the date range for this particular income and expense statement. I can then select the categories uh, that I want uh, and, and any filters that I want uh, for this report here as well. And then that gives me essentially a full breakdown. And then if I want to send it off to my accountant, I can then send a CSV file uh, as well. So before moving on, I just want to take you through the main report, which is the Schedule E. This is designed to mirror the Form 1040 Schedule E that you'll typically file during tax season. And it even calculates the mileage, which is what I mentioned before. So here is basically a mirror version of the Schedule E. It's all laid out exactly how you would fill out the Schedule E with um, the properties A, B, and C. Uh, gives you days rented, gives you occupancy, uh, gives you the type of property it is, and then it's broken down by Schedule E category. So uh, income and expenses, all the categories that we uh, have in Landlord Studio pre-populate to mirror the Schedule E form. So doing this is very easy. It makes it a whole lot easier just to simply run this at tax time. Now, having accurate and up-to-date financial records at the end of the year will also help you file a tax return, but also maximize the return on investment of your portfolio. And what this means is uh, by having all this information, it allows you to do, I guess, one of two things when it comes to the tax return itself. And so you can either self-file uh, or you can use a CPA, there's pros and cons for, for doing this. So let's sort of dive into that a little bit. The answer isn't so simple about what you should use. Uh, there are obviously pros and cons of each approach. So the pros of using a CPA helps you stay compliant. They're obviously seasoned professionals with extensive knowledge of tax laws and regulations. 
real estate tax law can be quite complex, particularly if you're gearing up your portfolio for it to, you know, generate general uh, generational wealth. Uh, second is it saves you a lot of time. So CPAs can handle all the intricacies of your portfolio um, and will free up more of your time. And then the third is maximizing the tax savings. So they obviously have a lot of information, knowledge about tax saving strategies, latest laws and all that sort of stuff. So it really just helps you get the most out of your rental portfolio. Pros of self-filing, on the other hand, many investors do this and uh, many of them do this because they have simple tax requirements or they might have just one property. They're not trying to generate uh, generational wealth or set up any sort of tax saving strategies. Uh, and there are uh, simply software that you can use to do this, TurboTax, all those sorts of different products online that allow you to do a direct file. So some of the you know, pros and cons of this is it's cost effective. Uh, some of them are user friendly. TurboTax is pretty user friendly for doing your filing and then the convenience of doing that. All the sort of technology and software out there just allows you to streamline that. The decision to engage with a CPA or file taxes independently really depends on your comfort level or the complexity of your investments. So regardless of your choice, having a robust system in place like Landlord Studio is going to help you keep good bookkeeping habits, uh, generate all the information that either your accountant needs or that you need to do a, uh, a successful tax return and also helping you to minimize the tax liability during tax season. And as we've shown already, generating a Schedule E uh, is really easy and it's a typical form that you're gonna fill out during tax time. So if you want sort of more complex requirements um, or you have more complex requirements and you wanna expand your portfolio, then working with a CPA is a really great way to do this. We recommend the Real Estate CPA, uh, Brandon Hall's team. Check out their website, realestatecpa.com. Uh, finding a specialized CPA that knows real estate specifically is a recommendation that we have. Often a lot of generalist CPAs don't know the intricacies of uh, the tax system when it comes to real estate, therefore not allowing you to maximize uh, your tax deductions. So there we have it. Uh, we've delved into the complexities of you know, tax management for landlords. We've explored shortcomings of sort of traditional uh, spreadsheet based systems. We'd love to hear your thoughts if you have any questions uh, about uh, either spreadsheets, about our system, um, or any other uh, questions that you might have about Landlord Studio. Feel free to drop them into the chat. Uh, but what I would say is by leveraging sort of features like bank feeds, receipt scanning, mileage tracking, you're going to be well on your way to maximizing your deductions in your rental portfolio and ultimately boosting your rental profits as well. So whether you choose to file uh, by yourself or use a CPA, um, you need accurate and organized records. So the system is going to help you do that regardless of what you choose. Uh, it also allows you to simply invite your accountant into Landlord Studio as well. So it allows them to see all your data. Uh, if you choose to give them permission to, they can either access it and export reports, or if you have a bookkeeper, they can actually go in and fully manage your account as well. So that's available uh, on all plans. So as you gear up for tax season, remember that the key to success lies in embracing innovation, adopting the tools that empower you to take control of your finances. So you can get started on a free trial um, and you can just jump on landlordstudio.com to find out more about the features that we have uh, and more about the pricing. Uh, if you'd like to start on the pro plan, you can simply do that. We have a whole lot of advanced features as well. You get free access to that for 14 days to try it out. But if you just wanna simply use the free version, you can do that as well. So thank you for joining us today. I wish you all the best on your real estate endeavors. 
Uh, and until next time, take care, happy investing. I'm going to stick around for a couple of moments here. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it into the chat. Uh, thank you, Olivia. Thank you for from your new client. <laughs> Appreciate that. So again, jump on landlordstudio.com if you want to find out more information about uh, the product and about the features. And uh, appreciate you joining today. Thank you.